Ladies and gents, welcome to Lauren Ferrier. My name is Justin Hast, and today I'm delighted to be here to talk you through the process of how to set and manage your classic moon. You've got to be comfortable with the watch. We want you to feel that you can interact with the watch and have that understanding. So do not be fearful of an annual calendar or a moon phase, or as we have here today, both of them together. So the first point here is winding your watch. You don't have to do anything to the crown. All you have to do is approach the watch and wind the crown in an upward fashion, rolling your thumb upwards a number of times until you feel resistance coming through the crown. We see a power reserve top right uh, of the caliber itself, which as you wind the watch, you'll be able to see moving. Next up is adjusting the date. Now it's incredibly easy because you'll notice on the dial there's a date pointer. And to adjust this, all you have to do is pull the crown on the watch to the first position. You'll feel an incredibly reassuring click and that will mean that you're exactly where you need to be. The date pointer itself will go both forwards and backwards on the dial. So you can go clockwise or anti-clockwise and you should know that neither will damage the movement. Just make sure to do it outside of 10 to two. This is how you'll cycle through the months. And the month is of course on the dial in the, the window at the top there at nine o'clock. And so to move from January to February, all you have to do is cycle through the days and that will click you over into February. The other thing to know is of course you can go backwards should you wish. So there is no reason to be fearful. Next up is setting your watch. Both the hours and the minutes are done in the second position on the crown, which is the final position. So you cannot pull the crown out any further. You'll again feel a very reassuring click when you get to the right place. And all you have to do is roll through the crown and set the hours and the minutes. Incredibly satisfying and probably my favorite part of the day. And then finally, you've got this, a beautifully designed bit of kit, reassuringly weighty in the hand and supremely functional. This setting pin is designed to help you ensure that you have the right day of the week on your watch, as well as the right moon phase at six o'clock. It's incredibly easy to use. All you do is take your setting pin and you put it into the pusher both at 10 o'clock and at between eight and nine on the side of the case. The top one at 10 o'clock cycles you through the days of the week and you can see this on the dial as you're doing it. As you go in, you'll feel that reassuring click and you'll see the day sequence over to the next. This can be done at any time on the watch. Then we've got the moon phase, which is between eight and nine pusher. All you have to do is put your setting pin in and again, click through the different phases of the moon. You will need the manual from your watch box to guarantee that you've got the right phase of the moon. You can also do this by looking online. This has to be done outside of two and four o'clock on the watch to ensure that the movement isn't damaged, but otherwise you'll see the moon phase cycling through its different elements. It's incredibly easy to use, so again, no need to be fearful. So thank you very much as always for joining me today and most importantly, go and enjoy your classic moon.